Good day everyone and welcome back to Southern Miss TV. I'm Kyra Lampley. And I'm Adarius McCormick. Come and listen to a special interview about the importance of health and wellness with a guest from the 6th Street Museum. Sienna Hall opened a brand new facility for students and faculty and Southern Miss's Coca-Cola Classic returned to Hattiesburg for its annual rodeo show. All of this and more today on Southern Miss TV. Southern Miss Student Media Center reporter Garrett Grove had an interview with the event planner of the Sixth Street Museums, Vanessa Molden, on the Southern Miss Today radio show. She discussed the topics of health and wellness and their importance. Here's what she had to say. Well, I think this year in particular because, you know, going through the uh, pandemic and health and wellness is at the forefront uh, in our country and, of course, mental health has, you know, um, is it's become it has become more on the front forefront than in the past i would say i think that no matter where you are in uh life i mean we all it's important that we all be healthy and, and well so that we can be at our best and achieve the goals that we have uh set and um health and wellness d doesn't just affect the person it affects their family members and, and friends so i feel like that uh the information that we will provide over the course of February will be beneficial to anyone. Stay tuned to hear more about the events promoting health and wellness during Black History Month. See students and faculty get a tour of the new hatchery facility that recently opened its doors in Siena Hall. And check out experienced riders and wranglers in Southern Miss's Coca-Cola Classic. All of this and more after the break. I got my COVID-19 vaccination and here's why. This isn't about gimmicks or sentiment or what commercial I like. This is about facts. COVID-19 vaccines are safe and effective. Millions of doses have already been given in the United States, and these vaccines have the most intensive safety monitoring in U.S. history. When you need more information, use a reliable source like the CDC website and get the facts. On Wednesday, January 26th, the Hatchery Inspiration Lab hosted its open house inside the College of Business and Economic Development. This event has opened to students, faculty, and staff within the USM community. It even attracted the notable USM alumni like Hattiesburg Mayor Toby Barker. The space seeks to attract students and faculty across the Hattiesburg campus. It offers individuals a collaborative space to brainstorm, discuss ideas, and foster entrepreneurship. With 3D printers, IMAX galore, and an espresso this is needed, is getting a lot of attention, and there's a lot of buy-in across campus as well. That this is not just a business thing, but it's, it's, it's understood to be a need for our students and for our campus community. For more information on the Hatchery Inspiration Lab and the services it provides, visit usm.edu forward slash hatchery. Southern Miss's Coca-Cola Classic returned to Hattiesburg on January 28th and 29th, where cowboys and cowgirls showed off their skills in barrel racing, steer wrestling, bareback riding, and more. The event was hosted by the Department of Campus Recreation at the USM at Forest County Multipurpose Center. From barrel racing to bull riding, the rodeo has something for everyone to enjoy. The rodeo also serves as a fundraiser for student scholarships and professional development. An athletic trainer at Hattiesburg Sports Medicine, David Freeman, hopes spectators left the event with the satisfaction of a good show. Uh, people just come out because they enjoy the excitement of the show. Uh, you know, the biggest draw, uh, you know, the biggest draw is bulls. Everybody loves to see the bull ride. After the break, Austin Lindsay has updates on everything sports from Golden Eagles basketball and baseball teams to NFL updates. And a new face will share all the events taking place in Hattiesburg in this special edition of Black History Month. Stay tuned after the break. Burgers and Blues, Burgers, Craft Beer, Music, Downtown Hattiesburg. 
And now we head on over to our sports recap with Austin Lindsay. Take it away, Austin. Yes, ma'am, Kyra. I'm not sure if you've been paying attention to your calendar of late, but today is the first day of February, which means love is in the air, guys and gals. But as Valentine's approaches us, it only means one thing. Our love for Southern Miss baseball has just heightened. The season starts 17 days from now at Pete, Day at Pete Taylor Park against North Alabama. Here from Southern Miss TV producer Kobe Moore as he previews Southern Miss baseball. This past weekend in Hattiesburg, Southern Miss baseball held their annual black and gold scrimmage. Fans came out to Pete Taylor Park to see the 2022 Golden Eagles in action before their home opening series against North Alabama on February 18th at the Pete. The scrimmages started on Friday afternoon and ended on Sunday afternoon. It was a very competitive weekend and it provided an interesting look at the Golden Eagles for the upcoming season. This past Thursday during media day, Southern Miss head coach Scott Berry spoke about the excitement for the upcoming season. Excited about the opening of the 22 season here on uh, February 18th. Our guys have been working really hard uh, since we started the camp back in August. Uh, both coaches from our strength side to our position player side, our pitching coach side. Our guys have worked extremely hard and we're excited about the opportunity that, and the challenges that lie ahead. And men's hoops. Saturday afternoon, the Golden Eagles hosted the Owls of Rice. Southern Miss freshman guard Jerron Pierre got out to a hot start, dropping 19 points in the first half. Here's Pierre Jr. draining two back-to-back -back trays to open the game. Jerron posted a career day, netting 29 points, five assists, and five rebounds, shooting seven of 18 from the three-point line. But it wasn't enough as the Owls took control. Watch as Rice's Tyree A. Evie hits a pull-up three at the buzzer. And in the first half to put Rice up six at 42 to 36, swinging momentum. So the Miss attempted to claw back in the game, but the Owls expanded on his lead, taking the game handily 76 to 62. The loss bumped Southern Miss to six straight losses in conference play as they now head to Florida to take on FIU Thursday and FAU Saturday. The Lady Eagles would have more luck than the guys, defeating the Lady Owls convincingly, 77 to 58. Southern Miss shot its highest percentage of the season, shooting on 54.7%. Southern Miss guard Dominique Davis led the team in scoring, posting a career high 30 points, three assists, three steals, and two boards to go along with nine of 16 shooting from the field. The Lady Eagles now return to Reed Green for a four game slate at home, starting with FIU at 6 p.m. on Thursday. Looking at Conference USA standings in men's hoops, North Texas ranks first as the sole leader of the West Division. They defeated Southern Miss and Louisiana Tech this week in a one point victory on a clutch three. The Mean Green broke a three way tie at six and one with UAB and LA Tech to sit at eight and one. On the women's side, Southern Miss moves back into the second seed, a game and a half behind the five and two Lady Blazers of UAB. The Lady Eagles are four and four in conference after dominating Rice Saturday as UTEP moves back to third after a pair of losses this week. Going into the National Football League, the Super Bowl is set as the Los Angeles Rams host the Cincinnati Bengals on its home turf at SoFi Stadium. This is the second time in back-to-back -back years an NFL team will host the Super Bowl at home. The feat hadn't happened in 54 years prior to last year as the Tampa Bay Buccaneers defeated the Kansas City Chiefs at Ray James Stadium 31 to nine. Speaking of the Bucks, the GOAT Tom Brady has called it quits after 22 years in the league. Brady announced his retirement via his Instagram account saying, it's time for me to focus, on, focus my time and energy on other things that require my attention. Tom Brady leaves the game with seven Super Bowl wins, five Super Bowl MVPs, three NFL MVPs, and 15 Pro Bowl selections, 
with countless passing records that may never be broken again. This has been this has been another edition of Southern Miss TV Sports Recap. I'm Austin Lindsay. Back to you. And now we turn to our community calendar anchor with the latest events happening in Hattiesburg. How's the calendar looking? The community calendar is looking full for the month of February. Hattiesburg is full of events for Black History Month that are ready to keep the community educated, entertained, and most importantly, informed. Honoring Pioneers in Medicine is a free event hosted at the historic Eureka School. Come to one of the first of two brick high schools for African Americans in the state of Mississippi and learn about former leaders who became pioneers in healthcare. Other leaders such as E. Hammond Smith, Dr. Charles W. Smith, and Dr. Martin Luther Smith will also be discussed. The event runs on February 1st, 8th, 15th, and 22nd at 10 a.m. at the historic Eureka School. Pre-registration is required to attend. For more information, visit the website on screen. Spirit of a Warrior Luncheon is a free event for the Hattiesburg community. This luncheon will feature Jean Turner, a retired U.S. Army Corps nurse. Come and listen to her speak about achieving optimum health and wellness from a nationally board certified holistic nurse. This event will take place on February 17th at 11 a.m. at the African American Military History Museum. Reservation is required, which can be made to the number on the screen. And for those looking for more zest, Get Moving Dancing in the District is another fun event you don't want to miss. Have an energizing dance experience led by certified dance and group fitness instructor Victoria Peters. All ages are invited and encouraged to join. This event will be hosted in the historic Eureka School on February 12th at 10 a.m. This event is free and open to the public, so no registration is required. Here at Southern Miss TV, community matters. If you would like to submit your next event for the community calendar, please send us an email to sm2.news at usm.edu with your event details. This is just one way we thank our community for watching Southern Miss TV and supporting us here at Southern Miss Student Media Center. Back to you. Thanks. So Adarius, you know that this month is super special. It's Black History Month. Are there any, you know, historical black figures that you particularly look up to? I think about our black women that are still doing it today. Somebody like Beyonce or Rihanna, musicians turned moguls. Yeah, I would have to say that mine is definitely Madam C.J. Walker. She kind of paved the way for African-American women and their hair, and you know, I recently changed my hair, and so okay. I really want to thank her for her contributions and doing that for us. Okay, giving us a history lesson on hair. We love to see it. <laughs> I'm Kyra Lampley. Thank you for watching Southern Miss TV. Remember to follow us on all social media platforms, Facebook and YouTube at Southern Miss Student Media Center. And if you would like to submit a story, topic, or if you would like to be a guest on any of our upcoming shows, send us an email at sm2news at usm.edu. I'm Adarius McCormick, and we'll see you next week on Southern Miss TV. Thank you for watching SMTV News. Follow us on all our social media platforms for news, entertainment, sports, and more. At Southern Miss Student Media, our mission is to shape the future of our students. If you're good at what you do, you can work anywhere. If you're the best at what you can do, you can move mountains. Southern Miss offers you a degree. Southern Miss Student Media offers you experience. With a combination, you're undefeated. Join us at Southern Miss Student Media, and together we will lead you to a lasting career. Visit the Student Media Center today, College Hall 301.
In America, millions of people, including children, are facing hunger. I only have $10 in my checking account, but it will be okay. I at least have food because of this pantry. Donna from Washington. The Feeding America network of food banks helps provide over 6 billion meals to people in need each year, like Donna. Together, we can end hunger. Learn more at feedingamerica.org. Southern Miss Student Media Center is proud to offer local businesses an opportunity to advertise on SM2 Digital Media, WSM Radio, Southern Miss TV, and The Student Prince. Promote your business or event with the Southern Miss Student Media Center at USM. Think of your ad reaching over 6,000 students on social media, SMTV, WUSM Radio, and The Student Prince, a combination you can't beat. Our in-house creative team is ready to produce your commercial or digital ad Advertise your business on SM2. Give us a call today.